Hello students and parents, this is Ms. Moore, and today we are going to be reviewing determining the value of coin collection. To begin, we're going to review counting coins. If you remember, when we first started learning coins, and we had a collection of coins, we started by identifying the coin. So, we would identify each coin and label it. We know that this is a quarter, this is a quarter, this is a quarter, this is a quarter. Next, we will identify the value, how much each coin is worth. We know that a quarter is worth 25 cents. So we will label the value of each coin. To find the total value, we will add or count by the numbers we have. We have 25, 50, 75, 100. The value of these coins is 100 cents, which is the same as or equals $1. Next, we have another coin. We can identify this coin as a nickel. These are all nickels. Next, we will identify the value. We know that the value of a nickel is five cents. And to find the value of this group of coins, we will count by fives. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. The value of these coins is 30 cents, which is the same as zero dollars and thirty cents. Next we have a different coin. We know that this coin is a dime. So we're going to label the coins and we are going to label the values. We know that dimes are worth 10 cents. And to find the total value, we will add these up or count by tens. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 cents. 60 cents is the same as zero dollars and 60 cents. And now we have another coin. First, we're going to label this coin. We know that this coin is a penny. So we will label the pennies with a P for penny. Next, we will label the value. We know that the value of a penny is one cent. And to find the total value, we will count by one. One, two, three, four, five, six. The value of these coins here is six cents, which is the same as zero dollars and zero cents because there is no tens place. Please look for the next part of this video on the next video.